So what we're gonna do, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you a really easy way of trying to get some blood flow into your fingers if your fingers are cold, um, is to pinch the tips of your fingers. So if you just literally pinch the tips of your fingers, you could do this a few times. You don't have to pinch it till it hurts, but if you just pinch them, you're gonna start getting more blood flow to your fingertips. That's a really good way of just getting it going. Um, a side note, the less caffeine you drink, the better your blood flow is. Okay. Caffeine tends to make your extremities colder. So, and I know this because my doctor told me this as well because of my arthritis. If I stopped drinking caffeine, I would have a better chance of being able to keep my, my extremities, my fingers and, and my toes and things like that warmer. Don't ask me why that is, I'm not a doctor. Um, but I have noticed since I've cut back on my caffeine significantly, it does help a lot. Right now it's actually freezing outside here in Fargo um, when I'm making this video. And uh, so this is the kind of thing that I most certainly do is I'll run my hands under warm water, that sort of thing, and then I'll pinch the tips of my fingertips to get some blood flow in there. Okay, another nice thing to do is I will take this right here, this part of your hand, okay, ball that you've got here between your, your thumb and your first finger, and you just massage that. Okay? Again, you don't have to kill yourself trying to squeeze that thing because it hurts. But to massage that muscle is really, 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 really important. Um, if you've got somebody else that will do it, that's fine too, right? Um, but they don't have to try and turn it into a contest to make you cry because if you squeeze that hard, you may cry, right? So the point is, it's just to, to you're, you're warming up your hands right now. Okay, that's what you're doing. You're warming up your fingertips. You're massaging this muscle right there between your thumb and your first finger, and it really starts warming things up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the wrists. Now I'm gonna show you some really great things that you can do, really great stretches with your wrists. Now the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna put our fingertips together, and then we're gonna put our palms together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower down until we are straight. Okay, we're not gonna be way up here, we're not gonna be way down here. We just wanna be straight. Okay, straight across this way. Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna lower these down. I wanna keep, this is the key, is you wanna keep the bottoms of your, thing, your hands together. You don't want them to pull apart. So you're gonna have to figure out what works for you, but once you get your hands put together, this bottom needs to stay together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower this down right here, see the bottoms are still together. That's as far as I can go, okay? Now, here's the trick. I'm gonna push this elbow toward that wall. Give me just one second. My camera was gonna die. So, I'm gonna push this elbow towards that wall. Now, as I do this, what I wanna do, okay, these, the bottom of my hands need to stay together. Now, I don't wanna push up. What I wanna do is literally push straight out towards that wall, okay? So, you're not going like this. You're literally pushing straight out towards the wall. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start feeling all of these muscles start stretching out. It's a wonderful stretch. Feels really, really good once you get comfortable with this. You stretch straight out and then hold it for however long, whether it's 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever. Okay? Then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Straight out. Not up or down, straight out. Hold it. Okay? Those are really good ones to do, and you can do those over and over and over just to stretch out all those muscles, okay? Another thing that you can do is you can turn your hand over and keep that bottom together. You turn it over and you just kind of bring it up towards your body like this, okay? You don't have to go in or out. You just pull it up and it starts stretching out these muscles in here, okay? That's another really, really good one to do to stretch out those muscles, okay? stretching out those wrists. And again, massaging is always a good thing to do. Okay, just massaging. I can already feel right now, just sitting here with you, my hands are already warming up. I'm already, I'm already feeling it. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Listen, if you're ready to take your guitar playing to the next level, then I'd like to invite you to go to guitarzoom.com and sign up for a VIP membership, which gives you first access to my premium lessons each month, which are customized for your specific goals and skill level. Now, it's an awesome community of guitar players that love to play, have fun and support each other's goals, and we'd love to have you join us. So go to guitarzoom.com and sign up for VIP today.